<laughs> Anyways. <laughs>
sort of visualize what's going visualize on. Visualize what is happening. These I'm are all written on. <laughs> There's one there. <laughs> felt like, like Scooby, Scooby Doo. They're in or whatever. Like <laughs> they look like they were a wee, wee, wee pile of blank ones, but they're yeah. all written things on. So it says on it. Oh, what is missing from New York? Yes. I was like, what What's, is missing uh, from church? For anybody church? who's listening and not um, not watching, it basically is what is missing from church, but the, the letters U and R are missing. You are. You are. I once I've got always, this. I, I've always says chooch. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chong? <laughs> What's missing from your chooch? <laughs> um, you are. You are. <laughs> that's the brothel that's next door to you. Yeah. Oh, my God. For after <laughs> Or yeah. oh, I, Choich. <laughs> Choice. Oh, I'm going to choice. Listen, listen, we get to listen, call down, we're going to choice. Take me to choice. I'll voice you the swine and the time of your life. You can um, have the time of your life. <laughs> have a time of in your life. In the brothel life. called the church. But like there's a church in Glasgow, there's, there's one of the churches um, on Buchanan Street in Glasgow. It's like 30 minute sermons. It's like a fast food church. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to be... That's what, what you want. It's only about half an hour. Yeah, come on, you'll be in you, and you'll be out again. Use would tend to like, use as in like RCs. Like, you're really, like, you're there for the long haul. Yeah. For anything that you're doing, mm-hmm. it's like a long time. Like, I remember as a kid, you would always, like, my granny or your ma... I, do you know what? It wasn't even that they were overly fussed about you when my granny was but going to church. You just want chapel. Sorry, we call it chapel. Um, Which is... I don't know, that's another thing. I that's, remember calling the church before and being told, but that's, are you a Protestant? But chapel's wrong, really. And yeah, the reason it's wrong is a chapel as a it's, personal, as a, as a family church within the home. It's a, uh, Or like, it's a small church. Yes. It's yeah. like, uh, yeah. but like, we would go to friggin' St. Peter's and still yeah. call it chapel. Called chapel. Yeah, but that's a cathedral. It's a cathedral. I know. That's it's a, a literal cathedral. But I think that's a Northern Irish thing so that yeah. we can be different again. Yeah. So we can always say, oh look, we, don't, we call it church, we call yeah. it chapel, we yeah. call it this, we call it that. He pronounced it Church. Church. A, a tiny way isn't saying it's just proper. <laughs> proper. Or like people who can't say the R's. Church. Church. I'm going, I'm going to I church. was a church last week. Are you German? I was a church. I was a church. I was a church. Yeah. I was a church. Did you ever have like a person in your class who couldn't say R's properly? Yeah. And it, like, uh, there was, uh, there was a girl in our class that couldn't say toilet. She said toilet and it turned uh, out to me. Because it's a rotten word, isn't I, it? We, I think we bring this up way too much. But turlet. yeah, turlet. it sounds weird. The word turlet sounds, sounds like, like a turd. shit falling into the water. Turlet. Turlet. It's like onomatopoeia. <laughs> Do yeah, it sounds like what it is. No, Absolutely fucking. Do you know though oh. on the on the subject of those what is missing from church and stuff? You are. Like they have some really kind of like haunting ones. It's like you're gonna die. You're gonna meet Jesus Make one day. Peace. You may come to him. I love the one that's if if God's in your house seven days a week, you should visit his just once. But that's a real that's like, a real marketing thing to get you out. Yeah, to get you out. But then do you know what? They're the, the Mormons or whatever you call them put this thing through my door one day. And it was one of those we folded up pamphlets and it said, we tracked. do you know how much Jesus Christ loves you? And it's Jesus. And you just sort of see Jesus's body. And whenever you open up the pamphlet, he's on the cross and it just says this much. And I was That's like, is that a bit inappropriate? I thought you were going to do like, it's how much Jesus loves you. Mm. Jesus like, Jesus, Jesus doing hard hands. Oh yeah, we I, hard hands. Jesus yeah. like 2010 seeing girl on, yeah. on people. Yeah. <laughs> With like emo stuff written on his hand, like my dad doesn't love me. Or Eminem. <laughs> my dad let me die. Like, do you like on like he's got like tattooed of a heart like out there and like, the <laughs> like a half one. Oh, yeah. And then like if we Together. put the prayer hand. And it's got a vignette around it. We <laughs> vignette. Uh, I was that was with, like whenever God I lived in Spain, us. there was like a wee church down the road from my ex's house, and it was like, Ma- like Mary, Mother mm. Mary, Mother Mary come. But she, with Mother, Mother Mary, Mary comes to like, me. It was like a soft kind of like. You know, she's she's white and she's got blue eyes and she's wearing, you know, she's wearing, she wears yeah. blue. Yeah. Like Maria's always wearing blue. Always wearing blue. She's always wearing blue. And she's blue eyed and white, she's despite the fact white. that she lived in the Middle East. That's the Middle East, never mind. Um, I spoke Aramaic, but never worry. But she was like, it's here. And it's like, and she's the blue, like she's, she's wearing like the wee big hurry thing. And it says, like, so it's good, Benida me. They come to me. Oh. Benida Sounds me. Sounds a bit suggestive. Benida. But it always, it feels just a wee bit, it felt a wee bit like, 
Yeah. Can somebody answer a question for me? And if you, if you guys can't do this in the room, then I would really appreciate Keep it if comments. somebody could comment. Or any of the spirits. I don't know whether or not this is real or if it's my mind haunting me. But if it, I think it might be real because I remember saying it to somebody. When you're driving along a certain road, I'm pretty sure it's on the way to County Down, like to Down yeah. Patrick. And there's this, what looks like a really faded poster. And it's like, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ's bloody face. But it's all faded like away and he has the crown of thorns on him. And I dr I've driven past and I just, it was only one night as I was falling asleep. I was like, did I really see that? Or is this my, is this like a sign Mandela that I'm supposed effect. to go to like chapel or something? Like what? The church it? isn't bricks and mortar. Wherever God, no, hold on. What is it? Split a piece of wood <gasps> and you will find me. me. Left a rock and I am there. there. But my dad likes to say, wherever God may build a house of prayer, the devil also builds a chapel there. And you'll find among close investigation that the latter has the larger congregation. Mm, all them devil worshippers. Devil Do you remember like in the 80s and 90s, devil worships? Devil worshippers. It, like, was was it was, but apparently it wasn't even really a thing. That no. was all a hoax. Like, who the fuck's worshipping the devil? Do you know, like, devil worshippers, like Satanists, actually yeah. don't believe in anything. Yeah, they so just, they, they like, believe in anarchy, like, self They don't believe in the devil it's, it's about, like, self-worship. It's and, not, like, you know. Well, the devil did get thrown out of heaven for saying, I am, didn't he? It's Lucifer. Right. So, because he saw It's about individualism. Oh, yeah. is that why he's, I am? Because mm -hmm. the that was God's name. Oh. And he he basically said that he was God. Um, so, oh, where's that? Because like I so see the song "You're So Vain" was written about Lucifer. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought it was meant to be Warren Beatty. <laughs> I think it was meant to be Warren Beatty. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just got <laughs> suckered in there completely. Oh, see that? What I meant to say, Thornbreeze. If you have never been, go. It is a beautiful wee cafe in Lisburn. Right. And it, Lisbon. it it's run by the coolest people too. Like, Thornberries. Yeah, Thornberries in Lisburn. Like it, they're really fucking sound, sound people. And um, upstairs, so they have Thornberries at night. So they have like comedy nights and like music and things like that. And there's a bar there. So I did my wee gig on the roof space. Yeah, I saw that. Was it lovely that night? It was lovely. But you know something? There was an orange march. Of course it was. It was organised as a protest. It was, it was honestly, I felt like, I, so I had to make it work. Do you know what you I mean? you got to take it in. I had to. So I brought a tin whistle, right? And I played along. I play, it, was an, it was a beautiful amalgamation of the two cultures, right? And then... This was 1996, you'd have got money for it. I must say... That's, that's what um, I, know, I said. You'd, you'd Becky and Connor were talking about it, like, because they went to see you. Oh, did they? Yeah. And, um, and they... That's the, in fact, that was a quote from Becky and Connor. Yeah. It was a beautiful amalgamation of two <laughs> cultures. And says, Becky and Connor show some love, people. They were like, um, like you should be getting a grant just for that. <laughs> yeah, it does for deal. But you know something? Money. There's it's something. Not a thing no more. I, don't, I think it's not a thing anymore since we started kind of liking each other. Like, no, there's still plenty of money. There is. Out. You can tick boxes and all we that get shit. That? We should get that. I mean, we should get We, we should get that. We're doing the, yeah, there, hands so across yes. the park here. Hands across the, what were they called? La. What were they called, the two characters? Was it something like, um, like, like, Danny something like and William and Emer or something yeah, like that? Yeah, something like, do you like, like the, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, but hands across the park here. Is that what the record was called? It was the must have. I thought you Mickey Bow and me. Mickey Bow and me. No, hands across the park here, <laughs> it's like this love story about these Mickey two Bow kids that are probably Mickey Bow and me in the West. Do you like formative oh. Irish movies? Yeah. Yeah, all true. Their names, Mickey Bow and the other one's called me. Me, with Neil and I. With Neil and I. But see, I have to say, as far as the lamp egg drum goes, it was pretty fucking catchy. Like, and you know, because I'm really ADHD, like during my set, I had to keep taking the time to be like, bump, 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 the bump, music bump, was... bump, bump, bump. And then just getting back into it because it was like, you can't ignore that this is like catchy. Chandler saying to like, Gloria Stefan was right. The rhythm is gonna get you. The rhythm is gonna get you. <laughs> the rhythm then, then is gonna, gonna get you. you. The rhythm <gasps> is. God wouldn't have given you those maracas if he didn't, didn't want you to shake them. <laughs> I the love maracas. how we get so fucking <laughs> like absolutely, absolutely. And you know what's been swimming around my head since our last episode was we did the arse of a nun through the chapel railings <laughs> because I have actually started to apply that when talking about <laughs> people who thing. eat the chapel railings. Do you know the way whenever somebody's like very pious? Oh. You go, oh, fuck, they're at the altar rails. 
Ring no, I never that's that. Have you never heard that? No. No. It ate the altar it, it, it ate the altar rail. Yeah, or he licks the altar rail. He's like this real, like he's just always like there. A real Bible we also have a say in in chapel. This is not very Catholic of me. But you know the way you get those ones who are at the chapel every single Sunday and they have their own place and they're always at the front. And they, have a, they have a chair and the pew. They have a and seat. you always say like the, the nearer the front, the bigger the cunt. The trans, the trans <laughs> say, um, <laughs> the trans <laughs> say the the, the friggin' service like a few seconds before the yeah, because they're like we know all the lyrics, we right? Know, we're, we're like we're like we're like big Dick t- t- Taylor Swift fans, but yeah. for God, yeah, yeah. So absolutely. I mean, I know all the words. Like the wee parts that the priest is only supposed to sing by himself, they sing them too. You know before. Before the priest, before the, me. through him, through him, with him. it's my fucking line. It's I like, don't. do you remember that advertisement? Hey, that's my line. That's my, but it's always like, did you go to priest school? Yeah. Did you go to priest did you, school? Did you study theology? Did you? Did you go to the seminary? You didn't even no. finish your fucking GCSE English, Patrick. Sit down. You can't fucking spell. Do you know what I mean? You can hand out the wafers if you're a good boy. Aye. Which is what generally they do. Whenever they want to be good boys there's or that, girls. There is that. There like, is I can that. give out the wafers and then they have to go and set a wee exam, I think, so as they can give out the wafers. Do they? Yeah, it's like, oh, what's the constitution of the wafer? Is it gluten-free? I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do I believe it is gluten-free now. I don't know. I don't know. So people aren't How many glugs should an alcoholic be allowed to take of the holy water? Do you know what I mean? Do you know, like, but it's, 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 it's some, isn't there some I'm sure it's that where... kind of test. How do you stop? Do you stop? <laughs> hey, that's you now. Do you what, like... do you, what do you do if a fat bitch comes He's up like twice a, for two wafers? Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, they're they're glug, 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 glug. He's like, hey, that's enough now. That's yeah, enough. That's that's enough. Be, <laughs> yeah, with no, the no, wafers, no. it's like, no, somebody goes up the buffet and says, can I get another wee plate for me? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. mass so fat, she comes back up for another wafer in chapel. Other than that, milk claggy. I would stick the roof of your mouth. User at skint, isn't he? They ate the wafers. <laughs> These are at skint. Portugal. The wafers, your Sunday dinner. <laughs> Could you bring a wee salsa up with you? you know, oh, dip that in that one. I have some guacamole. Will you bless? <laughs> will you bless my guacamole, Father? Guaca- yeah, holy some... guacamole! <laughs> holy. That's holy guacamole, Father. Sure yeah. Is. It's <laughs> lovely. It's been anointed. It's been anointed. Yeah. yeah. I got that sent down from a wee place in Mexico. Oh, God, love it. Do you know <laughs> that? There was a Satan of Our Lady. Uh, say, uh, the Cation, the love Cation, and on that. The, the, like, <laughs> fuck me. Like, one of my favourite sayings is whenever I'm not well, I love telling people it was sicker than the bus to Lourdes. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> I go, God, oh, house Kevis. was sicker than the bus to Lourdes. It's not than the bus to Lourdes. Swear to God, did you hear about the wee fella went to Lourdes for a miracle? He was in a wheelchair. No. This this is true, right? <laughs> okay. So he was in a wheelchair and they dipped him. You know the way there's like um, it's like a like fountain a, or something. There's like a, a water body of water, like a wee side of like the lake in Lourdes. And if you go into it, you, some it people paid. have actually witnessed actual miracles. And the, he hadn't been able to walk for like three years, and they wheeled the wheelchair. <laughs> I just popped them in. And it came out with brand new tires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there. He fell asleep slipping in the wave chair like <laughs> What are you fucking complaining about there, Firestones? They're brilliant, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit comes out and it's like, we just pimped your ass. Yeah. Ten inch drop down, man. Of the st- oh, there's like, like a thing. It's like, you're having a good year. Because that's con- them tires are. There's confetti. <laughs> pa, 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 pa. I believe in miracles. You mm, sexy thing. You sexy thing. Oh, and God. they're all like, 500 miracles this year, only in Lourdes. Yeah. Like and share, everybody. Smash that <laughs> like button. Smash that like button if you love our lady. God, forgive me and pardon me. Because oh, it just, just, it, God, she'll forgive me. Because isn't like, at Lourdes, she never says, like, I hired in. Well, I'm Mary. Mm-hmm. She does go, I am the Immaculate Conception. Yeah. So and like, a lot of people get that confused. Because a lot of people believe that Mary was without sin. When actually it was Mary's mother who had the Immaculate Conception. Oh. So Mary was the virgin birth, but Mary herself was the Immaculate Conception. Did Mary not have no daddy? Mary was born without sin completely. So she was born of no sin. Like didn't take the sin to make her. Do you know? Did, did Mary also have a little lamb? 
I believe it's face like Mary's was as white as snow. <laughs> she also have a good garden. A good, Mary, good, good. Mary, quite contrary. Oh yeah, how does your daughter, garden her grow? Garden grow. With yeah. silver bells and cockle shells and, and little, little maids all, all in a row. row. Yeah, mm. why did you have so many maids? Whatever happened to her? I know. I Come think she lives. Right, I, she lives down beside my granny. She lives down, <laughs> down the pound lonely. Uh, do you know the way you're quite much? She's, she's a hoarder. No, she's a wee she hoarder. I, she said, and do you know what? She collects seeds. She just has. She doesn't grow anything anymore. Mm, I know a girl but she collects just seed. seeds. Oh yeah. <laughs> She'd kick a seed bag right oh, off. He had me. I know a girl collects seeds. It's all down her, all around her face. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Sorry about that. Here's what. Here's the. Here's the secret to succeed. <laughs> I love that. Did you just come off of that? No, I didn't. Whoever I didn't make here's that up. Here's the heard secret that. to succeed. I love you it. You gotta succeed to you succeed. succeed. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. You could take that. You could do that. You, you take well to the you bank. Take that the bank and yeah. cash it. Cash it in. Yeah. Speaking of cash, mm -hmm. and do you not? I was thinking there of how I was talking about, like, you, you know the way there's loads of ways to, like, say that somebody's poor without actually saying <laughs> that right. they're poor. Having two hippies rubbed together. Having two hip. Do you know where Pat the Pissing comes from? Where? Right. Edinburgh. So, a Pat the Pissing was whenever you were so, so poor uh -huh. that you had no money at all, you would sell your urine to the tanners. A oh, wife for the So, lever. you were known as piss poor. Oh, you are piss poor. So, if you didn't even have a Pat the Pissing to sell your piss, you didn't have pot to piss that in. Was like, that's like sort of restoration, early modern, flipping. You know, like people who sell their spunk and blood. Aye, yeah, not mixed together though. Oh, no. When, pe when it says that, I always get that image of like, like blood. I get two different pots, like, don't I? Yeah. I don't I think, think so. you take it. In America though, that's where it went wrong because people, you had all sorts of fucking crazy bastards selling their, their blood. Mm -hmm. And then that's how the HIV and Hep C and Hep C thing came around because people that were like um, hemo. What do you call it? Um, Hemophiliac. Hemophiliac. That needed, blood, needed transfusions. blood transfusions. We're just getting all this like, like kind of like they weren't doing no. But they, they weren't. Then now, they found out that if you heat the blood, it cleans it. But I think as well they don't use all. They just they extract the plasma now. I think that's a different thing. Did you hear? There's loads of people getting um, the heavy from uh, vampire facials. Vampire facials to me. Whenever I hear that, by the way, I think of Edward Cullen coming all over Bella Swan's face. But she's a guy. <laughs> it's cold. It's, yeah, get like, off my face, Edward. Edward, <laughs> I don't like anything wet and cold. <laughs> Do you know why she actually says that? And I think Robert Pattinson's laughing in that thing because he's thinking about here's something rummy and hot for you. Yeah. Ew. Anything. What is a vampire cold facial? And wet. So a vampire facial is where they extract blood from you, right? And then they'll spin it so that it extracts the plasma from the blood, right? And they inject the plasma into the face. And honestly, oh. even if you were dubious, I saw it like a celebrity one getting it done. It was like some Miriam Argoyle or something getting it done. She looked fucking 20 years younger, so she only looked about 70. <laughs> I tell great. you what, you look, you, you look like a million dollars, sweetie, green look, and wrinkly. You look like a million zloty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I love it. But yes, um, so that's the way it works. But apparently there was something happening where... Like some people weren't sterilizing their equipment properly or whatever way it was working. So it's that dude and he, not dude, and he's like 50 odds and he gets blood transfusions like every day, week or twice a week or something from his 18 year old son Does to it, sort of like you know rejuvenate. The, but I don't, but that's, but that, that, there's just something mad about that. They found that it, creepy about that. it actually would take for you to implant like a brand new baby onto your side, like to circulate your blood with. And it actually would work because it, it, you know, I don't know the science about it. I was recently only told about this. But if you if you listen to a podcast called Science Versus, there's a whole thing on I it. It's like a stem cell -y thing. Yeah, but it's like, you know, because it's circulating your blood with this. So, I mean, essentially, I read this thing recently about oxygen and it was like our planet, essentially, oxygen is burning you from the inside out because... And that's why you're aging. And that's why you age. Because you're... And that's why we need antioxidants and stuff. So somebody wrote underneath this post, yeah, that's why no aliens visit here. They're like, don't go to the hell planet. Those fuckers breathe fire. Do you know what I mean? Like, those, you and know... And very nice people with each not, other. Really. Not very to, nice. Tell be honest. To be honest. See, tell be honest. I swear, do you want to hear the word of the week? I do, I do. In oh, fact, thanks. this this is a funky word. Foo for all. Full for all. What an awful full for all. What an awful. Yes. Yes. You're on the right. Full for all. 
So full for all. all. Like, but, so like whenever you get a lot of these like sort of like words that are probably from like 17th, 16th, 17th century, mm-hmm. you know, like sort of like or even into like Georgian times, they all tend to mean like nonsense. Or they yeah. all tend to mean like somebody who talks nonsense or somebody uh-huh. who talks like don't know what they're talking about. Yes. So like they all seemed a lot so of So if words I was to that, say to it, you Is is it somebody saying like is it a a food bank for somebody that makes uh, no, I think it's a r- full for all. Yeah, oh I thought everybody. somebody with no teeth <laughs> oh, sorry. that was running the food bank was going full for all, full for all. A Scottish one is just food just food for all. Food for all. Food all. It's a Scottish food bank. Scottish food bank. A food for all. Are you well done? Oh, God. Down the Are you hungry and skint? Come on down to Foo for All. There's Foo for All. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love that, actually. That's the new meaning. That's what I'm going to say what it really it's means. It's a Scottish food bank. Foo for All. Foo for All. <laughs> foo for All. I'm starving, man, don't you, Foo for All. Your ball bag. Yeah, get a, get a ball. You're a fucking muppet. <laughs> Shop. You would suit being Scottish, actually. I, you, we, me, me, so I went to uni in Scotland, and like even now, like my friends would all still do that, like, oh, shop. Do you make shop. Still, oh, just, um, or like, I have a friend when she was something's going wrong, she'll always go, oh, yes. <laughs> and I don't know why I love it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, and we'll go, yes. oh, what has she done? But what yeah. has, what does foo for all? So foo for all. Foo for all. So foo for all. If I said, right. Um, <laughs> David's mother was always making mountains out of a molehill. Okay. Right? So, sorry, I didn't mean to bring your mother into it. I'm just, I'm, you know, it tends to be <laughs> Maz. It's it true. Uh, uh, it tends to be, it's true. tends to be Maz. So I didn't, I didn't turn the word in your mouth because it was true. It, right, okay. Right. I love that, I love that. I didn't turn a word in your didn't mouth. Turn, don't you turn the word in my mouth. Like, don't be contradicting me. Yeah. Don't you turn the word in my mouth. I love that, it's so visual. Like, you can I mean, actually imagine the word turning around and going back down again. Don't you be turning the word in my mouth. Don't you be turning the word in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's definitely a great word for like the right end of the screenplay. It <laughs> is, isn't it? Don't you be turning the word in my mouth. I didn't fucking say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, in my mouth. Don't you be contradicting yeah, me? Do you have someone says, oh. you know, that's wrong? You're like, don't be turning the word in my mouth. Like, uh, don't you, how do I don't know what I'm talking because about. Because if you say, don't you be contradicting me, they'll go, who the fuck do you think you are talking to me like that? Do you swallow uh, the dictionary? What's going on? Do you swallow the dictionary? Uh, swallow. He thinks he is something. Swallow. 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 M's so, that think the summit are usually an out. M's that think Did your dad used to say <laughs> it? No, I heard it on other, like some, like, I don't know. Some, my granny used to say, you're as good as anybody and better than nobody. And I used to go, well, I'm better than him next door. Granny, like, that's the fair. Look at him. He's a fucking oh, trunk. Stay of him, like, seriously. There's more life. all different if he doesn't pay for any of them. Fucking Aye. There's more life on him than there is in him. So it's making him out now. A, a molehill the act of that is a foo for all is a foo for all like so they're making a fuss out of nothing yeah so you would say um, you know in a foo for all of that you would say are you, are yeah. you a foo for all is foo for all a noun foo for all is a noun so it's are, a, you, are you a foo for all or would you say he made a foo for all out of that you can say so it's a person place or a thing so I suppose whenever I heard it in a sentence it was um, about like you know, Michael made a foo for all out of the fact that there was no milk. Okay. Do you know what right, I mean? So the foo for all is or, the thing. Yeah, there was no milk, and you know, da da da. Let's look it up and find more examples. Like you wouldn't of it. say like stop being a foo for all. I actually, well, it's a nine, so technically you should. Or stop making a foo for all out of that. Stop like, what making, way would you, What would be the right way of doing that? Stop making a foo for all out of that. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Like. The like DUP, foof, like, not going in the foof storm. Foof all, DUP making a foo for all out of all the bombing. So, a disturbance <laughs> that wasn't or really. to do over a trifle or fuss, right? Oh, a disturbance or to do over a trifle or fuss. Mm-hmm. Foo for so, she couldn't help things. rolling her eyes at the foo for all that erupted at the holiday party. Oh, okay, right, yeah. Foo for all is to be expected when teenagers get into an argument. Do you know what I mean? This is so an like, awful foo for all. I this guess is you know what? This is an awful foo for all. Like seriously, all she did was borrow your pencil. Like you don't need to be making a foo for all uh, out of this. This is an awful foo for all. Like, I, I like. Know. I think. I feel like I could use it. This yeah. Is a, do you know what? This is a foo for all. Yeah, but now I just keep thinking that we're giving away free pasta. And then you're Scottish, mate. It's like, I guess. I'll outweigh all the fucking soup and all. Well, all right. this soup, foo- mm. I, know, I, I thought, thought you said there was a foo for all. It's a foo for and all. And all it is is a wee fucking barney over the last bit of <laughs> this is a barney coke. Over, over, over that last glass <laughs> bottle of yarn brew. Have you ever heard that guy doing the song and it goes, standing in the kitchen with your with your buddy, 
Someone pops their head round the kitchen door and says, Here, you's taking gear. <laughs> you's taking gear. And I say, No, no, we're no. Go get your in, you tramp. <laughs> <laughs> you tramp. Standing in the boozer in the case, someone pops their head round the bathroom door and says, Here, you's taking gear. You used to get. <laughs> I remember those. Whenever I, I over like so over lockdown, obviously it's my husband's cafe. Shout out again, the Kelsway Cafe, Kelsway Cafe, Donegal Road, Donegal Road. Um, so like we were over lockdown, we just like delivered food and had and our people collected us. Like there was no sit in, and I was delivering in and around the local area, and I was trying to find this. Like so, there's definitely places in and around Sandy Row that were designed by people who needed to get away from the police quickly. Absolutely. So like you go and you scarper into like a wee street. If you scarp, once, see once you get off Sandy Row into like, you know, the streets behind Sandy Row, you, you just forget about it. They're not fighting you. Yeah. Unless he- Is it all tailor. alleyways and things like it's, that as well? It's all like, and it's all like really, like it's like we, it's, 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 it's it is labyrinth fine. It yes. really, really Labyrinth is. Is. I love that. Labyrinth fine. It really, it really is. Yes. So I went um, and I was trying to find this house, but like some of them are like, like 14 will be on this side, but 13 will be on that side. Mm. And then you have to, and then you go oh, in. Yeah. Oh, it's a whole handle. So like, I was starting trying to find it in this fellow, just the window I got there. Yeah. All I could hear was Coke. But because this person had ordered like a drink, I was like, no, it's Fanta. Mm. Um, and I was, I wasn't listening to what he, <laughs> I was not. And his face as well, like, I didn't, and I was just like, you're so innocent. I was. I am. He so was innocent. asking if you had any coke. I was pure focused on the fact that I had food here. The person had ordered a drink. Anybody who was like, yeah. you know, and I, he was asking me, was I, did I want to buy coke? Oh, you wanted to buy coke. He thought that I was coming to his house, and he was he was waiting at the window like us here for whoever <gasps> was coming to the house. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How much did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get me through the day. Didn't help didn't me. Didn't, help not it. enough. Not, not, not much. I only have five. Do you want to buy Coke? Nothing. Well, you know that the person who was ordering the food wasn't on it because it, no. it takes away your appetite, apparently. Does it? Mm. I never, I've never, I don't think I could take it because I think I'd have no friends. Mm. I guess it's how talkative and how weird lose and friends and alienate people. Oh, fuck. Take a bit yeah. of <gasps> Can Coke. Can you imagine me and you taking horrendous? Taking that. Unless it would do the opposite. Would it chill I'm us sitting out? Sitting on here. Well, then again, I have ADHD, so technically, like, if I wanted to medicate myself, I would take speed. a drug that has speed in it. Aye. And I have taken ADHD medication in the past, and it's made me feel quite drowsy. I was going to say, this is what I was going to say as well, because I am... Because if you don't have ADHD and you take it, it makes you feel all pepped. I am in do, the process of getting, like, test, tested. I don't know if this is where I am in the process. We obviously got to take 16 million years mm -hmm. for ADHD, but also... So is the test for ADHD the same as the test for autism, or is that are those different? They are different. The tests are different. So mm -hmm. the test they're different because you have the, like the Connors test, I think it's called for the ADHD. But autism, they are quite similar, uh -huh. and usually when being assessed for one, they will assess you for the other. They they will see markers of the other, and right. therefore instigate a test for the other if right. needed. Um, but your best if you're going through the NHS, your best applying for both at the same time. I'm currently in the middle of filling out forms at the minute for, for children. And one is just ADHD and one's ADHD and autism. And, and they are pretty much the only autism's more um sort of social centric, you know, around like how your interactions are with others, how you deal with Because um, one of the questions they were asking me was, you know, your development. Mm -hmm. And as a as a wee boy, as a wee boy, I always felt like I was watching everybody else on like a film. Mm -hmm. That like there was like a kind of like a thing between me and you, and I was like, yeah. "What did I miss that you mm -hmm. know what's going on and I don't?" Yeah, David, you know I saw this thing the other day, and it just reminded me of you saying that there because it really hurts my heart. And it said, "Um, for say for every late diagnosed man was a little boy who realized that this world wasn't built for him." I know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you and definitely felt like this, you know, like the square else. peg and the circular hole. Yes. You know what I mean? Like it was very much like absolutely. I felt like now why I because my mom was like. If I didn't want to go to school in P1, my mum, until the truancy officer came around, she's like, fuck, I'm going to have to take this seriously. Mm -hmm. So if I was like, I don't want to go to school, I'm going to go, ah, dead on, don't mm -hmm. go. You'll find that with a lot of ADHD children as well, or autism, but you'll find a lot of stomach aches. Mm -hmm. And they aren't necessarily feigned. They genuinely get Your body's anxiety, reacting to it. Your stomach ache. Your threat ache. system is a reacting to the yeah. fact that you don't want to go into this situation. You don't want, because schools are designed to hammer little 
brown pegs into brown holes yeah. and if you don't then that's where they're like oh she's not like everyone else we need to medicate her so she just sits there like a zombie oh but there was no uh, but, but, but back in the day like obviously it, the medications it, come so a long way 85 86 87 mm-hmm. do you know what I mean like and I just didn't know I was just, I felt like I felt like there must have been a class on how to make friends. There must have been a class on how to talk to people. There must have been something that I have missed whenever I was sick oh. off school, and I have I do I, I I can't catch up. And you didn't. Yeah. And I was like, "Is what's going on here?" Mm-hmm. Do you know, and I, do you know, so like you don't really learn. You don't really. What happens then is that you didn't really learn to organize. Like, you didn't learn to manage what was going on mm-hmm. within you. You learned to mask it. Yes. So you learned to you learned to work. So I would have been just like, and still am to a certain degree, mm-hmm. like very hyper vigilant. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and then you get home and you're and yeah. you wonder why you're exhausted, but it's because yeah. you've been you've been masking all day and you've long. been on all day. So I don't yeah. know. Listen, I'm doing this test and I don't know if it's called. It. So it's sort of it's it's it is ADHD and ASD. Yeah, yeah. So it's sort a of lot like, of the time there's like a dual diagnosis. There's like a kind of wee Venn diagram. You know, but then again, ADHD isn't neurotypical. ADHD or a ADHD is neurodivergent. It's all so flavors of neuro spicy. We all are neuro spicy. Do you know what I mean? And it's like. The more that I have delved into, like, the fact that I have ADHD, the more I've actually started to really accept myself. That's what, that's, the, because, like, as, this is, this is all a surprise, as, as I've mentioned before, um, be, going to therapy, mm-hmm. and, and this is all, this is, this is all become as, like, a kind of yeah. um, result of going to yeah, therapy. Yeah, it's all about, like, I, I was okay, do you know what I mean? But the things and that were, the fine. things that were wrong with me are actually my strengths. Mm-hmm. The things, the way I think that's not like everybody else mm-hmm. is the thing that gives me that power, that ability to be able to jump on stage, to be able to interact yeah. with people, to be able to empathize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know, like that and to be able of... to judge a room as well. Like I can mm. I can tell this is going to sound mad. And I know now, Jess, they're saying it's not a superpower. It's just a different neurotype. So stop calling yes. it. It's no different. But I do call my ADHD my superpower. Because like my creativity stems from it. Yeah. The fact that I can think about like multiple things at the same time. I have full on conversations in my head where I'm like, yeah, that would be a great piece of dialogue, and I'm mm-hmm. writing that down while I'm doing something else. Do you know what I mean? Dialogue's and, one of my strong. If I'm writing, if I'm writing a piece of something, dialogue's my strong point yeah. because I feel like I've always just been and having I don't know conversations in your head, or I like explore ideas because I'm like, but ta- I'm debating with someone. Do you know also, what I mean? Because, and again, head. I don't know if this is <laughs> this. It is also like a thing that you have to look into. It's like, is this also a result? Is it like a kind of a result of trauma? Mm-hmm. Because whenever you're younger, in order to avoid traumatic situations, you have to be hyper vigilant. Yeah. So you're listening to conversations all the time. You're listening to the words that they're using. Mm-hmm. You're u- listening to, to the, tone, the tone, the facial expression. So Can you ever walk in a room and you're just like, oh shit, something happened? happened. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like right away, like it's almost like instantly you, you just it. know. It's, all, it's like you've walked into like, you've walked into a cloud of. Yeah. Like you just get it. Like, or there's so, like, it's so strange because I have this thing and I really hope that people don't take, but I do think I have like a form of propopagnosia. Is that facial blindness? Facial blindness where I genuinely, like until I have sat and had a, and like really, really talked with you, I won't recognize you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'll need a wee trigger. And I'm I'm really like that, and I feel really rude sometimes. But then, at the same time, like there was this girl that I was acting with in this short film before, beautiful, beautiful girl, and I didn't even realize it was her until like we were talking. I was like, but then I did. I was like, yeah, and I went, oh my god, your teeth are gorgeous. Did you get them? And she went, nobody has noticed that I've had the teeth done. So I'm like, I didn't recognize your face, but I was instantly able to say that What's your teeth different? were different. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. so strange. But do you think that's an ADHD thing where, like, you're constantly sifting through information to go useful, not useful, useful, mm-hmm. useful, not useful, not useful, useful, not useful. Mm-hmm. Do you know? And so, like, you're always trying to classify what's... Yeah. And then half the time, all the useful stuff gets put in the bin and all the... onion. That's why oh. I have, like, so many useless phrases or but that's why it's sort of like of another one of the things they're asking me about is like uh is intense or specialized interests mm-hmm. and mine has always been speech written speech listening mm-hmm. to speech accents mm-hmm. always languages different language always been yeah. always been i can go down rabbit holes yeah even talking to somebody and i can see that they're glazing over and i'm like but i have to have see to i think that's back. where you and i gel well because we're like you know, we like to make a, we like a foo for all. I look. We I, make a foo for all out of the small little. Word. I will make a foo for all over a Spanish subjunctive any day. Ah, uh, um, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. is there a subjunctive in Irish? Subjunctive. What so, is a subjunctive? So subjunctive in Spanish is this is very boring now for everybody. 
do feel free to make this the point where you make a cup of tea. Um, the Spanish subject and the French subjunctive is so like in English we would say I want you to do something. Mm-hmm. So we say it like that. I want you to do something. But in Spanish or French, you would say, I want you to do something. Let's through that there. because that, But that is... An, and yeah. that is... That's your specialist subject. Yeah. Yeah. Your mastermind. Ma- you could go on mastermind. Oh, no, because nothing's useful. Yes, the fucking is. But you know what I mean? Did you know what you were saying? Like, all oh, the useful information going useful, useful, useful. Yeah. I don't put the useful information... Mm. I'm just sorry you've got me stuck on passive aggressive things you know you that your man does like, Irish like that in Irish that you wouldn't so like we say you, you wouldn't, wouldn't do that first would like, you like you wouldn't get us a wee cup of tea which, or see if you need somebody to do the smallest thing you'll say would you do me a big massive favour mm. would you please lift that cup for us over here but, that, but then if we need you to do something massive I'm not we gonna. go you do us a wee favour. Just wee favour. Don't play it. Paint the house. Or let I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clean every window in the house. Yeah. Do all the washing. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anybody to help me clean this house. Do you know what I mean? I do it all my own. One do us a big massive favour and make us a cup of tea. One do us a wee favour and paint the house. Would do you know what I mean? Like, lift like, overplay. Plates. But yeah. whenever somebody goes. Would you lift them plates? Would you lift them plates? Or would you. Would you yeah. Whenever somebody says, you wouldn't do me. And even see that, even that level of voice. Wouldn't do us a wee favour, would you? That mm-hmm. makes my heart go like this here because I know that what's coming next is going to be difficult. Yeah. Whereas if somebody says to me, you wouldn't do me a massive favour, I'm like, oh yeah, no bother. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I know if you go, um, I need you to just do me. Would you do and me see that favor? there, it's, it also it makes you think, fuck, I should have offered to do that already. Yeah. Yes. Especially if it's like a customer going, you wouldn't do me a wee favour. And you go, what? And you go, can I have some cutlery, please, oh, for my dinner? Love. Do you know what I mean? Or the one, I'm so or, sorry. Or the other side of that is, you're bringing the food down, and you're like, out there, um, I order chips. And I'm like, aye. You're sitting in the kitchen waiting yeah. for the fucking I've bring them down. I've only got two fucking hounds. <laughs> so wait the fuck. Sit know, down, you fucking Do you want me to basket. carry it out with my fucking toes? Do you want me to fucking, do you get one of them BBLs so I can fucking have two plates of chips <laughs> hanging on my arse like this there walking down the yeah. thing? You fucking cheeky Where's bitch. Where's the chips? Here, do you, do you get them people? This is going to sound so judgy, but so here's what, this is what we're here for. Um, like, <laughs> it's I've, not judging, it's just observation. Observation. Com- observational comments. Uh, uh, yes, all the way. Used to get people coming into like, I've always worked in like restaurants and bars naturally because you know being a drama student an actor or a writer and then, you, like, work, and then you can I, work at night because you're not I'll a work. morning person because yeah but the gig industry kind of fits in with it because you're kind of like right I'll go and do shifts and mm-hmm. um, you would get these people it's going to sound terrible but me and my cousin worked in the same bar restaurant together and sometimes you would hey, get you're Belfast yeah and sometimes you would get people in and we, we would guess what their order was going to be so you would go right He's going to order a harp. She's going to order a blue WKD. They look like they're on a first date, so they're treating, they're, they're getting steaks. But they're going Aye. to be burnt to a crisp. Aye. No green stuff. Not even a garnish. Don't put nothing near their heel. Not if, eat that, love. Don't be putting. they're from Newry, they'll ask for coleslaw. Coleslaw, uh, a wee bit of coleslaw. Something slow. about Newry and coleslaw. Do they love a coleslaw? I love a coleslaw. Yes, coleslaw. I, but there's like, almost like, they'll always, if you ever talk to somebody from Newry about food, they'll go, oh, and they do lovely coleslaw. Like there's a, like, yeah, there's a, like a wee snobbery about coleslaw. Uh, but I, we have that up here. Because like I have, coleslaw. I know people that'll go, don't go to that shop for the coleslaw. I good. make sure you go into the other shop and get the good country farm coleslaw. Don't because go to their, has... their coleslaw is too sloppy. Our mm-hmm. coleslaw is too dry. Have you ever made your own coleslaw? No. It is proper. We did it in uni, which is we see for students. We we, we fucking really looked we after ourselves die. in terms of we were greedy bastards. Like <laughs> me, me and Aoife used to take ourselves out without everyone. Like oh, every. Tuesday night because it was fuck all on the Tuesday mm. and we used to go and take ourselves to Donano's and Dairy and mm. order we called it a Dairy Special right because no matter what way we get tricked a lot of times any restaurant you went to in Dairy right you would see this thing and it was like chicken with a red wine reduction you know and blah 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 and what would come out was chicken with like a salsa bolognese sauce and cheese on top of it. Aye. And don't get me wrong, it was fucking delicious. But it's not Chicken what it's in the But every single time you went into a restaurant, everybody else had worded it differently and it just, it came out chicken with the salsa and the cheese, mozzarella melted all over it, it and garlic potatoes. Kind of like a hunter's chicken. Like an Italian hunter's chicken. 
But so we, or look at we call that a dairy special. Or We're it's like just what you. It's, everybody does it, but they've a different name. But they've a different name for it, and that's just what you. You could order fucking uh, mash and sausages, and it would come out chicken with the wee bit of the the salsa and the cheese on top. I swear to fuck. It's like that. it's like they go bazinga, right? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> I um, order chips. Okay, <laughs> They're I, fucking in the bag. <laughs> you're coming now. You're You're coming, coming you bastard. bastard. Or did you, ever, did you have uh, the customers where you would come in and you wouldn't know their name, but you go. Cheese and ham toasty. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, you just call them by their order? Because uh, those guys say cheese and ham toasty. Mm-hmm. Or like... Um, the, or the difficult one? Full full, full, full soda, but the legs are cut in half. Uh, or <laughs> full of gravy. Uh, full have of gravy. you ever been one of them people? I places? am a wee bit... So like, say if we all went out, and this, so this, say the first time we went out for like, to one of the many coffee chains, we'll mention you if you want to sponsor us, but if not, you're not getting the shout out. Mm-hmm. Um, but say you went to the coffee chain and like I was the first one ordering, I'd go, oh, I'll have, I'll just have a tea. Because what I want to order is an iced caramel latte made with oat milk. Yeah, um, that's perfectly acceptable you know order I mean? And me? sometimes, depending on what time of the day, decaf. So like mm-hmm. it's just many things and it's just too, so I am a wee bit that person. So, But if I don't feel like I'm in a circle of trust. Yes. But then if you order something like, oh, um, can I get a wee gluten-free cake? I'll go, oh, actually, can I change that tea? Yeah, I know you're I'm like, it's ah, okay. No, but These I mean, people. I don't have to shit myself or have a yeah. crappy like, cup of tea. Have you yeah. ever been like a regular in a place where like, you know, you and come the, in and, and then the know no. the crack? But what, no. see, what gets me there is, I've, I read this guy and he was like, I work in a coffee shop. Don't come in to me and say, the regular, I serve 2,000 people a day, you fucking narcissist, right? And I was like, right, okay, I don't want to be one of those people. But then, like, if you walk into a shop and they think they know your order and it's really touching, but how do you turn around and go, actually, I would rather have a green tea today? <laughs> no, no. And they've already I, got your wee frappe made on that first like, day I tried that was just because I wanted to know what it tasted like and I don't like it. But now you think I love that, so you make it all, and you have to. Just like when you have your nana or your mommy thinks like, oh, he loves. <gasps> like when you were wrestling your ma, <laughs> you everything was WWE with the wrestling. Like, or like, oh, he loves that lasagna. So every time uh, he comes around, I'll make him I'll that make lasagna. Li- yeah. And you, you lied about it. Whenever I was a wee boy, it. my nana made stew all the time. Stew, 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 mm. stew, stew. Because I love, I love my nana stew. Mm-hmm. Um and I, and I went over to England where my other nana lived, my other my nana Brian. They make stew different over there. Well, she made this stew and I ate it and I was actually really, <laughs> actually really horrible. Cause I was like, so bear in mind this is my grandmother, but I just my other you like you're you've always had another granny. Uh, so she was my the one you don't know. The one just she was she was my dad's mum. Um mm-hmm. and I was like, it's not as nice as my nana's stew, mm. uh, which was like. Two, doubly fucking insulting. Number one, I'm saying you're stew shit. And two, and you're saying my nana. You're not my nana. You're not my nana. Who the fuck are you, lady? Yeah. Um, but anyway. It's not as nice as the actual woman actual who looks after me. Actual fucking stew, so uh, I, don't, yeah. I, know, I know you got all the fucking ingredients out of your Do you know what I'm raging about, off. though? I am going to be... Another, the other, the mommy's, the I'm going to be mommy. the daddy's mommy. Like, what the fuck? That's my mommy's problem, I but think. But then, actually, no, we've broke the cycle there. Because Kurt's mum... Is an absolute fucking legend. See? So, like, my, and my kids love both their grannies. So I'm just It's one granny and one nana, or, like, how do you differentiate? We get Granny Monica, Nanny Kelly. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, they get their full name yeah, as well. With, with Liam, now it's, it's uh, Nanny Colleen and Granny Mary. Yeah, oh. you get like a nanny and a granny. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Nana but I'm just going to be like, see whoever my boys marry, whether or not I don't care if it's a man or a woman, I'm going to be the best mum in law. I I'm a cool mum in law. I I'm, mean, I'm not a, just have sex on the couch. Yeah, I'd rather you do, do it right. You guys need a condom. Mom. I'm a cool mum. <laughs> do you like yeah. do you, do you going in doing that? You know that old Zan Summers games where you have to like put it on over a put it on over a cucumber, pull it off, oh, yes. and pop it. Yeah, and then like that there, mommy just wanted a wee biscuit. That's yeah, right. that, that's fine. Now be like that's overboard love loops. Flavors. No. Oh, see that mean? one there. What do you need? Always use a water-based lube, son, mm-hmm. because you know, don't be using fast name because it can sometimes it breaks the condom and yeah. it can also chafe your asshole. Yeah, it'll be very uh, sore. Be very sore. So you need to watch. Mummy, I've just I'm I'm walking the neighbor's dog. I don't know why you're saying all this <laughs> to me. I just, I just going down this far. <laughs> yeah. I don't know somebody what uh, uh, what's going on. I just thought you needed to know. I do. I feel like I it. thought you were taking it. I thought you might have been going out cottage and something. I, I thought you might have been co- going out cruise. Was it not a gig that thing yesterday? On the PO ferry. Do, no, for, for not do not use the toilets for cottaging. You knew you need to pronounce this because I sent David this last night. By the way, side note, I feel like I'm bragging when I'm talking to other people about my in-law. Because like I get people that go like, My mother-in-law, fuck, she's fucking in the house and all the rest of it. And I'm like, 
I can't identify with that. My mother in law's But do you think great. sometimes people are we? She comes over and she's just so fucking helpful as well. But, 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 you're, but your mother in law lives in, lives in London. Yeah. So you're always like ready for whenever she lands, which was, I think, maybe sometimes people, you know, like, especially daddy mommies can sometimes be a bit like, but I need, I need to make my mark on their family. Yes. And they'll go around and they'll try oh, really hard. Yeah, yeah. I actually saw a meme before that was like, dear mother in law. I know my I know my husband came out of your vagina, but now he comes in mine. So can you back off? But <laughs> I was like a little bit gross. But Imagine a, saying but something like that. Point. It does. It gets the point across, but it also is very gross. I think in visuals, right? So last night I sent David <laughs> this um this we uh, sign because I'm oh, a me- I'm a member of a Facebook group that's called um, Warnings and Disclaimers that were clearly the result of. A <laughs> So much like Snickers having make and tea nuts on them. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, that do you was, know what I mean? for stupid people. Or like the people that, the woman that sued Nutella because she got fat and she thought that Nutella was marketed as healthy. I'm going to, I am going to jump in here and say in Spain, you would nearly think it was salad. Because really? it's full of nuts and milk. Yeah. Perfect thing to give your children for breakfast. And oh, really? It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's yeah. fucking chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So Absolutely. I, I kind of do see where she was co- in that particular thing, but yes. Can I send you this meme to put in here? Yeah. It's not a meme, it's a, it's a legitimate um, photo. photograph. And it's P&O Ferry. So funny enough, you said cruising cottages. Cruising. And I will read the English. Which I actually didn't know. I had to. I had to have a wee think about cottaging. I knew it was a homosexual it's an term. An old fashioned thing. From old the, fashioned. But it's old, but it's back, back in the day, so cottaging comes from the time when it was still illegal. And so, the, what the few places that like men, because again, there's a lot. There's lots and lots of historical sort of. What would you say? So, uh, uh, historical documents and mm-hmm. of men meeting in public men. toilets. Um, but not so much of women, so it's always mm. romance. So there's a wee bit of a kind of lack. Women can I have think. a sleepover and be like, hey, oh, okay. hey girlies. There's a wee bit of a lack of lesbian. So it says, these toilets are not to be used for cottaging. Ces toilettes ne doivent pas être utilisées pour le bum sex. Le bum sex. Le bum sex. You might not be doing le bum sex. You might just be doing le hand job yeah. or le blow job. I fucking you don't love not, it. Do you know what I mean? And like, somebody le said... Le cream pie. That... Le cream pie. Le frottaging. Le frottaging. <laughs> oh, I love isn't it. it fro- isn't it frott, frottage? Frott, frott. Fromage frais. Frottage frais. <laughs> When you're just frothing, you're just rubbing. Like, like you're not taking anything out, but just rubbing. Le creme. Le creme de la creme. Docking. Docking. Do you remember one of the dirty docking. words? Docking. 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 I really am intrigued, right? Because I was speaking to a it friend a about this yesterday. It's a lot of for docking, really. But I think access. it sounds, like, cute. Like, do you not think that people might dock just as in the way that you would hug? Like, but like two straight men? No, two lovers. Oh, two lovers. Oh, like, right. the way that you would kiss, would you not go? Where's a wee dock? Let's it dock. I don't know. It seems like a lot of work. Mm. Was that? It's not for the uncircumcised. Like, oh, well, actually, so it's like it could you kind be. of like put, you kind of like putting your willy into somebody's like foreskin. For Is it sort of like a Chinese finger Chinese trap? finger trap? Yeah, okay. yes. Trap of cocks. Yes, of cocks. Chinese cocks. cock trap. You're yes. right. Where do you get that much foreskin? Where do you get? That? Especially whenever things get like into their more. Do you like people, whenever they know? No, <laughs> Rita, you go Rita, Rita like... Repulsa, make my monster bigger. Yeah, you um, go around to the know. local circumciser and just get like their, cl- you know. Do you have like a day. lock floor, floor, floor skins? Floor skins? <laughs> <laughs> become floor skin that is thrown down on That's why um, uh, people who circumcise like uh, are really, really rich. They're minted. They save up the tips. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. Did you hear about the squinty circumciser? He got the sack. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you call uh, a Russian circumciser? What? I have a knack for nicking him off. <laughs> so is it like a wee, I don't know, is it like a wee... Um, Cigar cutter? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Like you pull it out and go, and then you're go. done. I think it's a curl. It's like, it needs done for medical purposes. But I think you should only, do, I don't know, this is the whole thing. Because obviously, like, if you are Jewish or Muslim or just American, because, mm-hmm. like, most American men get circumcised very, or, like, are just circumcised. Yeah. Which is weird, I think. Cause, mm-hmm. But I think that's, like, a puritanical thing. The, the thought to stop them from wanking. Yeah, maybe it is something like that. Not really as nice that you just do a bit of... And, um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Good old spit, and you're good, good to go, kid. <laughs> spit shine that spit thing. Shine that, <laughs> spit shine that helmet. Go get your fucking shine box. Or <laughs> <laughs> one of those like floor polishers. <laughs> <laughs> you you oh can God. stand on them. <laughs> the Hoover. I told you not to disturb me when I'm cleaning <laughs> my room. Don't come 
to the dummy when I'm vacuuming my room, Mom. <laughs> Office. What was he called? Officer. Doofy. <laughs> Officer Doofy. I Out of, uh, what was that? Scary, scary movie. Scary movie. <laughs> Fuck me, that was good. I love that. Was an, that was like the original sort of parody. I think it was like, not another, not another, not another. Not another like, scary movie, not I, another. Yeah, absolutely. I love whenever she's like getting her food shaved and she, all the bats fly out. And she's like, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. She is so good at that character. But you know, I thought it was a character and then I realized done watching her another thing, she just can't act. That's the yeah. way she is and everything. She's like that. She just she's like in Friends. She's the exact same character. And, um, yeah. and in um, Just Friends. And the House Bunny. What's the House Bunny? House Bunny is where she is, uh, right. she's like a... Uh, a Playboy bunny that ages out of living in the Playboy house. And so she goes and she becomes a house mother for a sorority. Oh. Emma Stone's in it. Oh, I sure Kat Dennings in it. So there's good actresses um, in it. Like. Rumor Willis is in it. So there's yeah. bad actresses as well. Um, there's right. kind of like... Rumor Willis. But Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Anna Faris yeah. is sort of like the the Bob Dylan of the acting world. It's like, she's unique. You know what I mean? She, all, like, all, of her, all of her acting is delivered a bit like this with the wide eyes. Like... Like Kristen Stewart is kind of like her protege. But do you know that there was this French film reviewer that was doing Cannes and he actually said that Kristen Stewart is not only um, not a bad actor but a fantastic one because she is genuinely embarrassed by acting and therefore it's sort of like Why one, fucking of, do it then? one of the last kind of authentic experiences of seeing someone... I thought it was quite a Dalian like way of looking at acting. You're I like, get it's not that they can't act. It's just so that they're, 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 you know, it's it's authentic because you know they're acting. But is there not like a kind of wankiness to that? Because in my head I'm going, there's so many people would love, if you don't like acting, you're, I kind of fell into acting. And you're a bit mm. like out there, fuck off. You know why you fell into acting? Because your ma's a producer. Aye. You got to go at that, uh, do you remember the panic room? Oh, yeah. She's an Apple baby. She is. She is an Apple baby. And I know people don't way. like using these term Apple babies, but you have to remember. It's a real thing. I don't care. Like, I say Apple like, you know, I had to work really hard. It's like, no, you were always in the room. Mm -hmm. From you were no age. Producers, directors, Steven Spielberg is your fucking godfather. You Do you know what I mean? There. You were When your mum or your grandfather or your uncle, whoever, was having, you know, table readings, you were there. Yeah. These people knew you. Mm -hmm. So whenever they were thinking of people who could do things, oh, suddenly you came into their head. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Because you were always fucking you there. You were always there. Do you know? So like, I think if you don't like the term Napo baby, and that, you can be an Apple baby but still be really good. Yeah. Um, Doesn't mean that you're untalented. It's just that you body. have to acknowledge. Who's a good Napo baby? Um, like somebody who you go, do you know what? Fair fucks to them. Because like, there's like your man, um, Clint Eastwood's son. Oh, yeah, he is good. Tom Hanks' son's quite good as well. Tom Hanks' son is good, but, but I, don't think, I don't think Clint Goodwood's son's good. He's good looking. He looks good in a poster. God oh, bless me. Like, most actors are not good actors anymore. Yeah. They're good, they're, they're they're good, good looking. looking. And they're, I love they look good in a back in my day when, like, do you remember, like, actors just look like people? Like, and Your it was man, usually always um, the men. The men were allowed to Timothy have bad Spall, teeth and funky noses. Timothy Spall would never be an actor now. And yeah. he's fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, who else? Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi would never be an actor now. Um, the Belushis would never be actors. Yeah, yeah, because you know, they don't have that perfect. They all have the the ratio, the right ratio. Do you know that? Do, 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 yeah, do, yeah. The golden ratio. They have of the to face. look absolutely fucking perfection. Do you like know there's what nobody, I mean? and you go, oh my goodness, there. Alfie Allen is a good actor, but he always plays the same thing. Yeah, but that's like they, he plays states. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like you know the way a lot of good actors. Sorry, I'm about to get technical here, but. You know, whenever you action a script, meaning like you'll go through every line and you'll say, what am I trying to do here to that other person? Yeah. And then you'll see other actors and you'll go like, they're good, but they play a state. They don't actually, you know, I, they're move showing, in and out. They're not like they're showing, like, they've, they've no real character arc as such because yeah. they're always like, he plays what it's like to be a person who mm. is aggressive and yeah. upset. Like what, Jason Statham. Just, yeah. No, those kind he's of people. He's just that. He, he plays states. Yeah, I think. And he's not an apple. Well, is he an apple baby? An apple baby. You think baby. he is in a state? State of him. State of him. But you who I think is the best actor that never was, Tom Cruise. Really? He was the best actor that never was. What because do you mean? He could have been, he could have been one of the greats. He could have been great. He could have been act. Tom Cruise is amazing because uh, he's Tom Cruise. Everybody loves Tom Cruise because he's Tom Cruise. But he's not actually... He doesn't do anything where he's a great actor. Mm. Except, do you remember he was in um, Interview with the Vampire? I loved 
and he was so good in it because he was that. he was do you, I always think an act a good actor is somebody Louis 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 no, he always whining always whine. he played Lestat he was Lestat mm-hmm. Leon Coeur in the actual first he was brilliant in that so and good funny that's an excellent observation because I've never seen him actually push himself in like, anything else like he's this action between, want to jump out of a plane I have to run and everything yeah yeah. And he I, runs and fuck and everything um, but like do you like the, the divide between who Tom Cruise is as a persona and little stat do you know what I mean like he yes he, uh, he, he disappeared into this person mm-hmm. I think actors like um, what's his name Michael Sheen. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love Michael Sheen. I love um, Samantha Morton. Mm-hmm. Like they disappear into yeah. their character. Like you wouldn't recognize them. Ha- they just, you know, they, you can watch street. four different movies and there'd be four different characters. I love. I love. Um, I also really love as a person. Um, I I said his name last week, but again, this is happening where I'm blanking. You know the guy that plays. He's in um, Good Omens. Yes, Michael Shane. Michael, sorry, yes, that, that that is who we're talking about, isn't yes. it? But I Azira was, fell. I was worried. Azira fell. Right, that his character is fantastic. Then watch um, Underworld. You remember he was. The I love him in later. Underworld. Then he was Azira fell. Then he was Tony Blair like three times. He, he was Tony Blair. And then he was the guy who was the head of what do you call the that? Volturi in. And Twilight. his daughter was disgusted by that. She was like, ew, you're playing he's Arrow. But he, I saw him recently. I just think he's a wonderful, such a, com- wonderful such a huge, person. Um, pro- um, supporter of the NHS. If you ever have a minute, right, Google um, him on, do you know, I think it is um, a League of the Ro- You know that um, guest show? Yeah, where um, um, they, The sports it, one? It, it star- last Leg. The Last Leg. Right, because of all and, and they say to him, right? So Wales is playing in one of the rugby finals, and they were like, "If you had oh, to give yeah. a speech to rile up the crowd, I saw that. what would you do?" And as an orator, there's something <sighs> about a Welsh accent there also, is. and they're great opera singers too. But he just gets up and off the cuff gives this speech, and I was like, "I fucking wish I was Welsh." I was Welsh. I would go and start training to be a rugby player and win. Yes, for and you. then he was in a what I absolutely adore him for now, not as if he needed to do anything else. There was this little clip of him sitting with um, a group of young people who had either additional needs or might have yes. been on the spectrum. And there was this young person, might have been actually late teens, early mm. 20s actually. And it took him a long time to formulate the sentence. So seemed to have a very, very bad stoppage in their mm-hmm. speech. And Michael Sheen just patiently was like, it's okay. Take, Take your time. time. Mm. And there was no falseness about it there was no you know veneer of like niceness he was genuinely patient with him and then what I found even more amazing it was whenever this young person spoke they asked the most eloquent beautifully put question about Michael Sheen's love of poetry and I was just like "Ah!" yeah (laughs) do you know what I mean I was just like see and he gave him the time to say that, and I thought that the statement that that made was more beautiful. You're, than, like, you're than the generosity else. of a platform. Yeah, I always think, and this is going to sound wanky. I love Celine Dion. Squealing Dion. Uh, sea lion Dion. I sea lion Dion. <laughs> I, I love it. I love, love Celine Dion. I have loved Celine Dion for many, many years. Celine Dion, like Celine Dion, is like kind of you know, like things that are part of your like yes. If My were, sister if is a fan a of the divas. Like she is. Yes. Squ- that's why I call Squealing Dion. Mm-hmm. She loves Mariah Carey. Whitney dresses Britney. Can't say nothing about nothing. Like you I, do not, You don't say a word I against love Celine Lord Dion. and Savior. If Celine Dion murdered somebody, I would think, what did they do? Because yeah. they deserve it. One of them um, I love Celine Dion. But she's always very generous to other performers when she's on stage. Because like she's like a, like obviously, she's, you know, as you age, you know, your mm-hmm. tone comes down, your mm-hmm. dice deepens. And it's like a good soprano doesn't naturally actually begin until like their 40s. Yeah, do you I know believe? like that kind of... In like, operatic in terms, you know. Terms. You I like, watch a lot of that. It, no, do you know, but you look, she's amazing. <laughs> she's uh, always... Opera. Opera. I do love the opera. I love going to the opera. I do love opera. Oh you know, my she's God. always lovely. She's like, always lovely to people So they're stage. not actually saying that whenever, you know the way they say people at the Wolf Tones are screaming like sectarian yeah, things. Uh, they're opera. not. They're just showing their appreciation for the opera. For opera. Imagine a Wolf Tones opera. For the oh wolf. Ooh, uh, opera. Ooh, uh, th- opera. We should start that. Right, write right. that down. That's an <laughs> 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 opera. Wolf tones opera. 
What is our another word? Our another word, right? So we're right, we're very introspective on the today. Wall. Very, we're very introspective yes. today, weren't we? Today has been brought to you by Valium. Today has been brought to you mm-hmm. by Val. Oh, and Venlafaxine. And ven- and and also fluoxetine. Did, did I take my Venlafaxine? The word's upside down. <laughs> today has been brought to you. <laughs> I'm in Australia. <laughs> right. This is for everybody in Australia. This is for our Antipodean friends. Yes, so, so that they can see it. Um, so this is Swear Down. Swear Down. Swear Down. Swear Down. Swear in my heart. Swear my heart. Swear Jesus, my God strike me stone dead if I'm telling the lie. Dog strike me down, I swear to mm. I swear my mother's grave, but sure your ma's not dead. And well, she will be one day. She will be one day. I swear over my ma's life then. I swear my ma's life. Swear on their children's lives. On their, on their very lives. On their very lives. Now, you know I would never say that unless I was telling the truth. Unless I was telling the truth. I swear over their I children's lives. I swear on their lives. Absolutely. fucking lutely. Swear down. Um, so this is today's swear down. Indolent. Mm-hmm. If someone is indolent. Am I, I feel as though I'm maybe mixing this up with another word, but does it mean lazy? Yes! Okay, right. So okay. you're not mixing it I'm up with any words, darling. Indolent, you're lazy. And I can tell that whenever it came to um, looking into grammatical matters and matters of the English language, you were never indolent in class. I was never indolent. In fact, if we go back to the bit that we were talking about earlier, but we're zipping through, um, I maybe spent too much time on those things. On those things. But, you know, we, we can maybe, even if you are really interested in learning about... Um, Subject, sub- subject. No, you're not. Right? Well, well, if you are, we can cut that and put that in a little. We will contact Patreon. you and talk about it. Yeah, if we'll you talk. want to have a big if you want to talk, if you want David's if number, you want to talk. If you if you want to have, he'll a, talk a, at if you. We, if we want to set up a subreddit where we're talking about mm-hmm. subjunctive and other, subjunctive. feel free, feel mm-hmm. free, but just not. Absolutely, fucking lately. he'll get a top contributor badge. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh. So indolent. I yes. am a top. I oh like, no, we're not talking about that. I like. Oh, I will get that there in the Patreon. You, you. Indolent. Oh, you are nothing but an indolent wee boy. You indolent petty fogger. Why do um, all these yes. swear down words pair perfectly Brr. with cunt? You you exactly. indolent cunt. Don't they? You indolent, corpulent yeah. cunt. You indolent. Oh my God, yes! Really like but it would have to be corpulent because you say fat lazy, don't you? Oh, we could say lazy fat. You indolent. Corpulent. I think it corpulent sounds better first because the, you've got the alliteration there, there. But also, I think there isn't there an order. Yes, there actually is an order. Is of like, an order. like color, age, yes. size. But space. we do it sub. We don't even think really about it. Yeah. So we'll say the green cat jumped over the fence. Or you'll say like that. Um, that old white traditional house. Yes. You like you always. Like if you could. said you wouldn't say that white old house. Yeah. That sounds really weird. But unless you're saying that old white house. The old. <laughs> But that still follows the pattern. But yes, so I love indolent because like as well as that, I I don't know why I always imagine that whenever you're saying these words to people, they're going to go. Why? Or else. What do you call me? Thank you. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Like the the real is. You're very very indolent, aren't you? And you'd be like, Look at the indolence dripping off you. Complete hanging Indolence is hanging out of you. <laughs> if there was work on the bed, he'd sleep on the floor, the indolent cunt. <laughs> <laughs> if there was work on the bed, he'd sleep on the floor. Sleep on the fucking floor, do you know what I mean? My I... granny was famously indolent. <laughs> she was really, in, like, she was really, like, I don't know how my nana, like, my, I think before my nana, I can whenever she was a younger woman. Mm. I think she only. I think my, now my nana held a job for probably six weeks at the longest. Like mm. she was always like fired for being a lazy cow. Oh really? Um, I love your nana. For so that. like she was like so back in the day like she worked in a lawn like one of the big laundries. You know the ones where they could put the you know the, the like st- Charlie Buckets ma. Yes. You know, cheer up, Charlie. The, cheer, you know, they had the big thing and they put all the sheets and all the whites to bleach them in the yeah. thing. And so she and one of her wee jobs was ironing the. The collars and cuffs. Collars and cuffs. Right. So she would iron them. But there was a dance that night. I mean, that's the easiest thing to iron. You're done. So the doctor came, done. so the, the director says, listen, Arse, there's overtime here. We need, we've got a big order for these collars and Couldn't cuffs. Couldn't bother me, Arse. <laughs> well, where are you here? <laughs> where are you here? He was like, at there. But listen, he says, because you're doing, I'll get this all your dinner the night. So we'll get like a big chippy and everybody's getting So he bought like chips for like about 30 people in the world doing all the things. And Nana was like, I'll have a wee, I'll have a wee bottle of cod and chips. I will. Yeah. So Nana, ate the chippy that was on the go hid the fucking what do you call it hid the collars and cuffs and then went out <laughs> to the dance I love and whenever that. she came back she was fired <laughs> from the job right, so she was fired that morning from the job 
She had to go. It's like them days <laughs> then you went to the brew and if you didn't have, like you couldn't just get your brew if you were fired. If you were fired, yeah. So you went to the brew for those people who are not from Northern Ireland as your dole or your own social, social security money. So Nana went to the dole, to the brew office anyway and the brew was like, listen to her, go to this job. She was given back the job she'd been fired from that morning. <laughs> and so she had to go to the man, there you go. So he'd literally fired her, phoned them up, they'd put the job up. By the time she got to the brew, they gave her that job and she he rocked up and he's like, I thought I fired you. And she was like, I know, but this is the one the brew gave me. He went, when can you start? So then this was a Thursday. Mommy, Nana was like, maybe come in on Monday. She says, ah, oh, you're right, Lars, you'll start the day. <laughs> She's such a lazy I bitch. I have to give him a notice. In I have to give him a notice into my last job at the fucking talk. <laughs> <job. laughs> that such is fucking brilliant. And <laughs> such Indolence, Such indolence, indolence, like indolent na- arse. Like my nana would be you know, like in the royal family. Nana would go. So like did you never say that to her? I'll arse. Wouldn't uh, bother her. Arse. I'll arse. Arse. Go. You got that. Um. She would have been like. Um. Nana would have been like. You want me a cup of tea, love? Do you want me a cup of tea, love? Do you want me a cup of tea? Mm. I'm gonna go and make us all a wee cup of tea. Would you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like she was. She wasn't. She wasn't. Or she would. Like, That's such a granny thing. No. Such an my mummy does that with the car. No, like oh, she? she goes see if any of my. Nieces or nephews or me or brothers or sisters. Anybody sitting in the house and we're like going out or something or have to go somewhere. I was like, oh, sure, no, no need you getting a taxi. Like I'll run you, I'll run you. And you go, no, it's fine. I swear to God, no, we don't need picked up. We don't need run down there. It's yeah. fine. We're ordering a taxi. The taxi's coming. Yeah. Aye. It says, T- cancel a taxi. I'm running you. Yeah. Like right, okay. And you go, right, no problem. And she goes, Pat, would you run them instead? <laughs> <laughs> She's not offering for herself. <laughs> Or my nana would go. Do you, I love that. She would go. Do you uh, want to wait? So your dad's sitting there with his two arms in one length. He can your arms are one length. See your hands. They all right. Good. Go and get them. Uh, fucking you're, you have two feet and a heartbeat. You can fucking walk. She says that nana would go. Um, I have magnums in the fridge. Do you want one? Uh, and then she would go. We'll go and get me one. Ah, uh, yeah. Jamie, like she wasn't. Uh, that was how indolent she was. was. Indolent she was. Yeah. was so <laughs> nana is so. Oh my god, she was so indolent. My yeah. brother told what I'm about to say. My brother told his friends this, and they were like, "No, you've made that up." Like nana would just like she would take away Magnum, ice lolly the bed were, uh-huh. and she fell asleep reading the National Enquirer magazine with with the Magnum. Like I said, she was so Hanging like in, you know, on her face, <laughs> and so the Magnum <laughs> lollies melted on her face. So whenever my auntie April came to check up on her, she was lying in bed like this here with a melted fucking... <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Dripping off her face. Like that, like, like... I love it! Bone bastard idol. L- yeah, bone <laughs> idol. Bone Aye. bastard idol. She couldn't walk the length of herself. Oh, fuck. Wouldn't walk the length of herself. Wouldn't walk the length of herself. Yeah. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Like, she'd be like, I just need to sit here and gather myself. Yeah. So like she Gather up, myself. She would go upstairs and she would have her shower. She would get up first thing in the afternoon. Mm. Um, <laughs> first thing in the afternoon, I just got that. get up first thing in the afternoon. <laughs> Listen, I get up at one o'clock, whether I need to or not. Whether I need to um, or not, no. And one... I never look out the window in the morning because I need something to do in the need afternoon. Something to do in the afternoon, she'd make us here. Oh, but it was so weird, like she would get up. So she, Nana would get, so my, my, young, my middle brother would have stayed at Nana's quite a lot. Mm. Um, and she would she would have got up, got him up, then go back to bed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Go back yeah. to bed. Do you know, and then she'd like, then she got up and then she would have cut her shower and then she'd come downstairs from her shower. She'd be like, right, right, right. She's like, bearing in mind, like, shops didn't always open till like mm-hmm. eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night. Like, Stuart's didn't open. Stuart's would have closed at five. Five o'clock. Do you know what I mean? She'd have been sitting at three o'clock like this here. Oh, I just need to get myself. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think that's maybe where I get my fear of fucking waiting about. Do you like that? Yeah. You don't want to wait. You actually just want to go. I will either there, be is like... There any fucking danger of you getting your hole in the gear any time any today? danger? You reminded me of Leanne McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a down thing. That must, must be a kind of down thing because yeah. I went to school and bombed out. Like, any do, danger? Yeah, my granny would have done, right, and I have not heard of this and my children have not heard of this, but my granny was a real... A wild one. She was a wild one for... For rewarding herself. A pre-ward. Yeah, a pre-ward even, you know. Give yourself it before so, you've done the thing. You know, you would go into the town with her and she would go, we'll go to Delaney's and get ourselves a nice slice of pavlova. Pavlova? Sure, we may as well get it now before we do her shopping. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or That's else a pre-ward. She would, That's a, a pre-ward. pre-ward. Or she would be like, you know, once she had done something, my granny would go, nah. No. Right, that's it. Complete task, and I find that, I that as a reward in and of itself. Me too. Like so, all the that's, time. That's a mental tick off, off your box. Of like yeah. I will put Red my child's shoes on, and he's two, and he'd be sitting there, and he, I'd put his shoes on, and he'd go, nah. 
Do you know what I mean? Like he knows that's that's it. Or or whenever you go to sit down, you go, nah. I do, I do <laughs> that. Do you know I do, or I'll go, oh no. Nah. Yeah. Or nah. if I'm doing something, I'll go, like that's that wee text thing. Oh no. Nah. Nah. So uh, it's just I nah. see it's if I sad. do something in the house and I'm like put a wash on the little bit of wash or or something, I go. I can make myself wake up at the end. Yes. Watch. I, yeah. I, deser- uh-huh. I deserve a wee episode of something now. Yeah, I, I need to, sit I down. I need to break that. things up for myself because whenever I, I call it, whenever I have, in fact, I was talking to uh, Johnny about this, um, our Patreon, and he was saying about, you know, whenever you put your out of work um, email uh-huh. on, out of office, said the dopamine hit I got from that. And I was telling him <sighs> yeah. about how whenever I don't have any dopamine to do, I call it a dopamine moment. I'm like, oh, I'm having an opening minute. I need to recharge my mental battery. Yeah. So I make myself a wee mm-hmm. cup of coffee and I sit down and I go, nah. Or go into a room you and, know is tidy. Yeah, and you just sit there and I have to finish it. And then whenever I take it, funnily enough, my last dregs are in this. And you're like, nah. 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 It's just so rewarding. Or... There's not, do you know how you know that you're still having an opening moment when you left it taken and you realise you've finished it and you go, fuck. You'll have to have an alcohol for Nah. <laughs> I do a thing where I'm about to go on stage, I'll do that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I kind of say, I go. I do that. I go like, I shake it all out. I'm like, get right, myself into, you the, on. into the moment. Yeah, you go, feel the fear and do it anyway. Because you, you find that I mean? you sort of, if you've got like that sort of like a scattered brain as I yeah. would have you just center yourself you have to bring I, 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 feel, I do literally I feel, go nah. I visualize all my energy coming here yeah and then go on stage yeah Usually, do, do you know I actually think genuinely 100% my god strike my day my god strike me down if I'm starting here strike them kids down um, please when are you going to cough again me Please, please don't. Please take don't. my kids, for example. No, um, please, take them. Uh, They're going in my life. Yeah. Um. But see, before I'll go on stage, I'll be like, nah. Uh-huh. And then whenever I get off, I'm, nah. Er, nah. Er, well, well done. Er, nah. And it. it's not there now. Er, nah. Er, nah. Er, nah. No, I just say nah. We would say, er, nah. So you add a wee bit on to er, nah. You do. And nah. as we've reached the end of this episode, yes. we would collectively like to say, nah. Tell your granny I was asking the better. Why? And if you don't already, please follow our Patreon. Kids of Feet Bob. Share why not. And then you'll see the be next wee bit. Oh, you see oh. the next wee bit? Oh. Where David's going to tell us the dirty word of the week. Why? Dirty fucking words. You we love actually it. do love the word I think you this week. You love so. it, so you do. Oh, you do ya, do ya. Oh, oh, you oh, fucking oh, dirty oh, bitch. You dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you slag. You, you, you're you, going down, you slag. Yeah, you, you fucking slag. You slag. Put your trousers on, you nicked. <laughs> <laughs> the cottaging. The cottaging. Put your dick away, George. The le bum six. Le bum six. <laughs> Pas de bum six ici, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Où est le bum six? Où est le bum six? In le toilette. Le bum six, c'est là. I feel like I'm multilingual now. Multilingual. Connie Langwell. See you next week. See you later.